Oh, not yet. We'll do it right now. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. I refuse to. No. Why? Because it's not started. It's no. It's too early. Stop and do it again. No. So I don't. I forgot what to say. Like. No. It's starting again. You so just to do the intro. Yeah. What is it? Hi. Welcome to Twenty Four Kevin. TV. T. Can't do that way. Do that way. V. Oh, that's good. Okay. <clears throat> this is it now. This is it now. Okay. You ready to actually do it? Yep. Hey guys, welcome to day number 18 here on 24 Kevin TV. I'm over at my Irish bud here at John's <laughs> place. And we thought it'd be fun to do 24 facts on Ireland this week. We're going. You can't see them first. I'll read them to you. All right, right. Right, right, right. Ireland was actually the last country in Europe to permit divorce. It was narrowly approved in 1995 when the referendum was only 50.28% voted for in favor. The first ever divorce was granted in Ireland in 1997. In 2009, 3,716 divorces were granted. Irish law allows couples to be divorced only if they have been living apart for four years. Seems about right, yeah? Really? I remember that actually happened, wasn't it? That's actually a rule? Four years? Well, I didn't know about that. The average height of an Irish man is 5'7". The average height of an Irish woman is 5'5". Five five. Yeah. I'm 5'10". What are you? I'm six one. Yeah. I'd be about like normal enough for Oh, I don't know. Uh the average Irish single couple has sex four times a week. The average Irish single couple? Yes. What do you mean single couple? I don't know, that's what it says. It doesn't make any sense. How can you be a single couple? That's that's bullshit, surely. <laughs> Surely that's bollocks. Dublin is the gay capital of Ireland with over 90% of the indigenous gay population residing there. What? Yeah. What? 90% of the gays are in Dublin. 90% of the gays are in Ireland are in Dublin. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense there, uh, definitely. <laughs> I understand that, yeah. 76% of all Irish nine-year-olds have tried alcohol and cigarettes. 976? And cigarettes are and are. Is that and? Where I don't think I smoked at nine. And cigarettes? No, I definitely didn't smoke when I was nine. Didn't even try it? I don't think so. Nine is very young. No, I definitely didn't try it by nine. No, not at all. Might have had a few drinks. Oh. Or a drink. Or a... <laughs> the average Irish married couple has sex one and a half times a week. That's bullshit. So the second they get married, <laughs> they have sex two and a half less times a week. That is bollocks, surely. For fuck's sake. How can you have sex one and a half times a week anyway? What are you doing, like? Do it first time and you're like, ah, fuck it. Just go see. Why well, wouldn't you say six times a month? That would, that would give it more devastating effect anyway. Irish marriages last an average of 13 years. Although the majority do not end in divorce, Irish couples prefer to separate and live in sin with their new partners rather than go through costly legal proceedings. <laughs> Yeah. Well, like, uh, as a Catholic, like, you're not really supposed to be getting divorced, like. Oh, it was against the law for ages, like. Well, yeah, you're still not supposed to technically get divorced. Yeah, like, that's the problem, like. That's why people don't really get divorced, or, like. The longest place name in Ireland is Haula in County Galway. Galway. Okay. Say it Galway? Galway. Oh, yeah, come on. Say it your way. Galway. An odd Irish birthday tradition is to lift the birthday child upside down and give his head a few gentle bumps on the floor for good luck. The number of bumps should allegedly correspond with the child's age plus one. Class. Never heard of it. Never, <laughs> never did that. It's like birthday beats. Y yeah. Well, he got birthday beatings, obviously, but never did that. So, thank God. The home of Guinness in Dublin, the famous Guinness Brewery at St. James Gate, has a 9,000 year lease. I know, yeah. A 9,000 year lease, that's ridiculous. I know, yeah. Fair play to <laughs> Laughing, really. Yeah, pretty it's much. It's right in the middle of Dublin, as I like. Oh, really? It's oh, it's a right location. in the middle of it. Oh, unbelievable. There's a village in Kerry called Inch. That's where I'm from, by the way. I'm from Kerry. Oh, I, I know. I know Inch very well. You know Inch? Yeah. Called Inch. Yeah. And on a road sign outside the village. An inch is a mile. <laughs> inch one mile. Oh, yeah. It's a famous rule saying carry. Yeah, apparently so. That's we're, crazy. We're an inches in width. Ooh, here's interesting. There are more mobile phones in Ireland than there are people. Yeah. Yeah. 
That is interesting, yeah. That is interesting. Although I've been through like 10 phones in Ireland now. <laughs> Should I be breaking them on nights out and stuff like? That's probably why there's so many of them. That's probably it, yeah. Oh, Irishman James Hoban designed the White House. Yeah, I, yeah. Uh, I heard an Irishman designed it right. Well, his name is James Hoban. Oh, yeah. H O B A N. Maybe it's Hoban. You're probably better off the whole. The average Irish consumes 131.1 liters per year, the second highest per capita consumption in the world, behind the Czech. Liters of what? Just liters. Water, beer. Literally, just says liters. The average Irish consumes. Hmm. I don't understand where that's going. Like, it's surely beer. Like, Titanic, the unsinkable ship. Which sunk in its maiden voyage was made in Ireland. You know? Well, yeah, Northern Ireland, in Belfast. Well, yeah, I know, yeah. But it is it's it. Ireland. No, yeah, it is. You're damn right. Irishman John Tyndall was the first scientist to ever be scientific or specifically referred to as a physicist. Nice. What year was that? It doesn't say. It doesn't say what year. Okay. It's cool. unfortunate. Oh, well, there's another one for you. William Edward Wilson was the first person to ever accurately measure the temperature of the sun. Yeah. Ireland is the only country in Europe <clears throat> where abortion is still illegal. I don't really... I We're not getting into that debate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's not a debate yeah. for us to get into on a YouTube show. Maybe no. another day, but not today. There are more Irish people living outside of Ireland than in it. Oh, yeah. Hmm. <laughs> uh, dry sheen, is that what it's called? Dry sheen? Dry sheen? Dry sheen. Dry sheen is a type of pudding made from cows, pigs, or sheep's blood. White pudding is a mixture of pork, cereal, bread, fat, and suet. And periwinkles are sea snails boiled in salted water. That's what we had yesterday, man. Yeah. I think Patrick's clearing of the Emerald Isle of Snakes isn't true. Yeah, I am sure. Shut up, I keep it though. The legend says St. Patrick cleared the Emerald Isle of Snakes. This has become such a widely popularized myth that is believed by nearly everyone. It is also completely untrue. The truth is that Ireland never had snakes in the first place. Of course they did, but. And St. Patrick. How can they prove that? That was hundreds and hundreds of years ago. According to researchers, the last time Ireland had snakes was probably millions of years ago. The Ice Age would have killed all the snakes. And by the time the ice melted, Ireland was separated from other countries that still had the nasty buggers. The main point is that as far as scientists are able to do, snakes have not existed along with people during any time in Ireland's history. It's because St. Patrick's fucking put a stop to that fairly lively. Well done, St. Patrick. <laughs> That's why we drink at his birthday. St. Patrick's, St. Patrick oh. drove snakes out of Ireland. Which brings me to my next fact. Okay. St. Patrick actually wasn't even Irish. He was Roman. Uh, he's alright, but he's a good man. Love to drink. And our final fact of the day. 73% of Americans are unable to locate Ireland on a map, but fret of country names. Can you locate Ireland on a map? Probably not. Yeah, exactly. 73%? 100% of Canadians can't sit there. I can Canadian. probably do it. Shh. Not well, yeah. but I can probably come in the general vicinity. I can at least get Europe. Oh, man. <laughs> That's all the time we got this week for Freaky Friday. Remember to subscribe to my channel, like my videos, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think about John. He'll be back next Friday. All right. Leave a comment. I like to hear from people. I don't like it when he's the only one commenting on the videos. I don't comment on his videos. I don't really care, to be honest. <laughs> Anyways, for everyone here at 24 Kevin TV, I'm your host, 24 Kevin. We gotta go, though. We gotta shut the hell up. His neighbors are probably pissed at us. They're definitely pissed at us. See you guys tomorrow.